Hello, Amazon entrepreneurs. Today we are going to go over Canva. Uh, so Canva is a nice alternative to Photoshop and it's a little bit more user friendly. Uh, it's really great if you are trying to edit your images to make sure that they fall within Amazon's guidelines and just provide a better overall creative experience for any potential customers. So I use Canva in a couple of different ways. First, I will use it uh, to make a 2000 by 2000, which is um, the one to one square image ratio that Amazon likes. So the one to one image square ratio will uh, make your stuff zoomable as such. So whenever you click on this image, as you can see, it's nice uh, zoomable. You can see the texture of the cup. Uh, this is what we want. This provides a better overall shopping experience. So in this example, I'm going to pretend like we did not have that nice image already. And I'm going to pretend that we just had this small little image. So this, um, as I'm sure you can imagine, would not make a great Amazon image if it was just this size. Uh, it would show up really small um, in comparison to some competitor products that may not look as good. So this is definitely something that we would want to do for all main images. So from here, we can um, just kind of scale this up a bit so it makes sense. Uh, per Amazon's guidelines, we do also want the image to cover as much space as possible. Now, if we wanted to do a virtual bundle for this, um, you know, we're selling two at a time. Uh, kind of a similar process here. We would just go ahead and add image one and then we can add image two. Now, keep in mind by doing this, this white background is still on here a little bit, but we can remove the background, which I'll go over in like two seconds. So on that note, we will now go and proceed to remove the background. So let's say we don't want the background for this image. Now, as this is a secondary image, it's okay for it to look like this. It's okay to have this background and this is a great secondary image, but for purposes of example, we're gonna go ahead and remove it. So real easily, uh, we've already got this image selected. We'll hit edit image and then background remover. And there we go, that's all you have to do. Now, um, say that the background remover accidentally removed the cup. If you wanted to restore that, you would just hit restore and you can bring it back. Now you will have to be a little bit careful with this. Could be some trial and error because there is a bit of the background left here. Oh, we'll go back to erase. But it is possible to make edits if the background remover does not do exactly what you want it to do. So yeah, these are the two main, or I guess three, because I gave another example of uh, ways in which I use Canva. Uh, there are definitely a lot more uh, features here that you can do. So if you wanted to create a logo, um, that's definitely an option you can create. Uh, you can add text to your images. So if you wanted to do infographics, um, we'll pretend we're doing an infographic here. Um, great for parties. You can kind of make your own infographics. Um, you can insert custom shapes, stickers, emojis. So again, this is more of a user-friendly, uh, the best parts of Photoshop if you're not an extremely, um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? If you're not trained in Photoshop, I guess, a professional, uh, this, would, this is a really great alternative. And I use this for some of my clients all the time and they have great images, great conversion. So yeah, any Canva um, questions you may have, I am happy to make another video. Uh, have a great day, everyone.